Hello, oh, so we're trying to fix this piece on this binding broke, um, and we ended up having to 3D print a piece. Um, I have a, a friend who has a 3D printer, and we printed one, and even the 3D printed part broke here. Um, that little piece sheared off. Um, so we, we 3D printed it again with a stronger plastic in hopes that it will stick this time. The problem now is we've kind of stripped the holes where the screws go in, um, some of the fiberglass has now been, you know, stripped um, in the ski. So we're gonna have to use some epoxy to try to get the, the screws to hold in place. And we'll see if that will do the trick here with this newer, stronger 3D printed plastic for this part of the ski binding. So I got those stripped screw holes. Um, where the screws have kind of stripped and they're just kind of spinning in there, not really tightening down like they should. So what we need to do is add some epoxy or some other possible option I thought of where these things we use almost like sheetrock anchors that we use, and these are too long. We can cut them down shorter, and that might do the trick as well and come in combination with some epoxy to get those to screw in place here. So I'm just experimenting here to try to get um, the screws to stay in place in the fiberglass where the, the screw holes have kind of stripped out and the, and the screws are spinning in place and uh, not really engaging like they should. So I'm experimenting here. I'm going to take these little sheetrock anchors that you use for anchoring sh screws and sheetrock and then cutting it. Um, you just, you know, a little shorter because I don't need the full length of that. So I'm going to cut that down here, about right here. There we go. So I got that uh, little anchor cut. A sheetrock anchor and put in the hole there. And push that down. Like I said, we had to 3D print this piece. My brother in law has a 3D printer. We had to 3D print because this piece on his skis broke. If the sheetrock anchor doesn't work, then we'll use epoxy, maybe in combination with the sheetrock anchor if this if this doesn't work. So we got that pushed in and put the screw in there and we'll screw it on and see if it works. be pretty solid right now. It's torquing out pretty good, at least on that one. That might have worked. So it seemed to be torquing out. The problem is though, is it's not going down all the way. You can see that gap right there. It's uh, unfortunately still got a gap, so you might need to use the epoxy option. Even though it torqued out really nicely, it might need to make a, use a smaller piece of that sheetrock anchor or something. So I'll try again here. So I'm gonna try one of these you know, see if the clamp will hold it in place so it'll stay down like it should. Hopefully if those clamps on that will do the trick. Let's try it again. And it looks like it's down flush now. Now let's see if that will do the trick. Getting much higher torque numbers now. That's actually a good thing. It's better. Used a couple sheetrock anchors, and they the plastic and the sheetrock anchor kind of welded to the inside of the plastic of the 
the part there and using these these clamps really helps to help hold it in place. Let's see. Okay. That seems quite a bit better. Oh yeah, no gap there now. It's torqued really high really high torque value now too. I'll move my bench here out of the way. It's got a much higher torque value and I don't have a gap like I did before so using that clamp really helped hold it down in combination with the sheetrock anchor that the sheetrock anchor kind of helps the screw engage the plastic part but more importantly the sheetrock anchor is helping it engage into the, the ski because the ski base had stripped out where the screws had been screwed in and out several times to try to get this uh, plastic 3D printed part to work. So, looking good now. We'll have them test it maybe in our backyard. There's some snow on the ground right now. So, I'll have him test this in the backyard tomorrow when he gets home from school. He can test this out before we take it up to the ski resort. Fortunately, he has a second pair of skis. These are kind of his rock skis. Hopefully, this will salvage this pair of skis for us. Looking good so far. Thank you so much, Nate, for um, 3D printing this part for us. It looks awesome. I'm really impressed he could 3D print the part. It's it's awesome that we have that technology these days. And a good, good friend and brother-in-law who can do that. So we'll see how it works. So again, just to uh, just to recap here, we used this basic uh, sheetrock anchor. Just an inexpensive, you know, I had these just laying around in my garage. I have lots of, I save these when I do home improvement projects and I have a bunch of these. But I uh, just used an inexpensive sheetrock anchor to help. The, the screw had stripped inside the ski and so the screw was just spinning in the ski. And the simple way to fix that is use a, a sheetrock anchor. And again, um, this doesn't take a whole lot of force. The only force it has is the force of the spring pushing against it. So... As long as it can withstand the force of the, that pushing up on it, then it's fine. You know, my son only weighs 50 pounds, and so most of the force is in this part of the binding. This plastic part that broke, really all it does is hold this metal ski brake in place, and so your boot will rest on the rest of it. But um, we'll see how this plastic holds up that my brother-in-law printed, but the, uh, the screw has a really high torque with just using a simple sheetrock anchor. I didn't and I didn't end up using any epoxy. If I have to, I will use some epoxy maybe in combination with the sheetrock anchor, but I think this will hold. I'll I'll let you know in the comments below how it's holding up. But my son is only 12 years old and weighs about 50 or 60 pounds and he should this should hold up well. So, I'll let you know how it works. But right now it's torqued really well and I think the bigger issue is if this plastic right here that was 3D printed holds up, that that might be the, the limiting factor. So for this fix, if you have stripped screws in a binding and, it, and it's not an essential part of the binding, like there's also screws back here that aren't stripped. So you can see there's two other screws back here on the binding that are perfectly solid. It's just these two that kind of stripped out. And so this is not as much of an essential part of the binding as far as the strength of the uh, screw, but it actually is torqued in really really well and I think it should hold up just fine as long as the plastic holds up. So yeah, give it a try with just a simple sheetrock anchor.